This video is to help you get started using your Victory Weight System. Our motto is loving laughing and living better. A consistent vaginal weightlifting routine can stop accidental urine leaks from laughing and sneezing, will increase sexual enjoyment, decrease menstrual cramping, ease childbirth, and help recovery after childbirth. Let's get you laughing, loving, and living better. The first system is the Victory Staff. We use a nut and a washer to secure the weight load. Once your weight load has been added onto the staff, you can connect the S hook to the top of the cord that circles through your Kegel egg. There should be enough length in the cord loop so that it hangs a few inches from your body. We suggest attaching the weight load after you have properly and securely inserted your Kegel egg. When you're deciding how much weight to try, we suggest starting low and building up. Once you have decided on how many weights you will use, go ahead and slide the weights onto the staff. Tilt the hook end of the staff down a bit so the plates don't fall off. To secure them, we need to first put on the washer and then the nut to keep everything in place. There's a white inner rim on one end of the nut. This end should be facing away from the weights. Screw it on until you can't twist it any further. And that's it! The Victory Staff can safely hold 255 pounds. To keep your toe safe, make sure that your body can safely hold whatever amount of weight you add to the staff. Adding or decreasing weight is a fast process and the system was designed so that you can change your weight load while you're working out. For example, if you start out using a low weight for high reps and then you want to switch to a high weight for fewer reps to really push your muscle growth, this can all be done very easily. We suggest attaching the staff to the egg's cord while the egg is securely inside of you. There should be an adequate length of the loop that is hanging outside of your body to facilitate easy adjustment. The beauty of the staff system is that the weights are effectively parallel to the floor, which is very nice aesthetically. We suggest attaching the weights from the staff while you aren't using them to prevent them from scratching, but any scratches are superficial and do not change the effectiveness of how the products work as weights. And while we did make these weights pretty, you'll be working very hard with them. Some scratching is to be expected. The next system we are going to show you uses the Victory Chain. The Victory Chain is collapsible, adjustable, and is more discreet than the Victory Staff is. The standard chains come in 12 inches. If desired, the chain can be cut to a shorter length using wire or bolt cutters. We have longer chains available in our store in the accessory section, as well as extra S-hooks. The Victory chain has a detachable S-hook so that weights can be loaded onto the chain from the top. Both systems use an S-hook, although the S-hook that is on the staff does not detach. Keep in mind that the S-hook for either system should not be anywhere near and definitely not in the body while in use. So, no matter how heavy duty either option may look, your lady bits are perfectly safe. To add your weights to the Victory Chain, first remove the S-hook. Take your first plate weight and slide the chain through the hole. The chain takes a bit more maneuvering than the staff, but it is simple once you get the hang of it. Add as many plates as you desire until you get to the weight that you are happy with. Reattach the S-hook to the top of the chain and you're ready for your workout. When you have several plates stacked onto the chain, the plates will hang horizontally. Without enough weight, they will tend to hang at a slant but the chain provides a collapsible and strong option that can be tucked away into a small bag, which isn't necessarily an option with the staff. The way that the system works is with tension. The downward pull of any weight on the chain will give enough resistance to hold the S-hook in place for your workout. It will not come off while it is suspended from the loop of cord. In that same way, when you're done with your workout, you can fit everything in a small bag together. Again, before the weights come off the chain, you must remove the S-hook. If you're adjusting the weight load in the middle of a workout, you might find it useful to rest the weights on a tabletop or bed or other surface so that you can add or remove plates without having to hold the weight in your hands. If you have limited mobility in your fingers or you would prefer to not have to deal with the smaller S-hook and having to detach and reattach it, or even if you have problems keeping up with small things, then the staff might be the better choice for you. I say this to lead into our next reminder, before every workout, you must make sure that you use your fingers to tighten the nuts at the base of the chain. Once you have twisted them to the point that they stop moving, they are tight enough and you're ready to go. Whichever system that you choose, thank you so much for choosing Victory Weights. We're ready to help you love, laugh, and live better.